part of it to do with the playhouse. It really is the theatre. It's not just the theatre's future, it's the theatre's present. We're here in West Yorkshire with What's a going on? The region with a theatre for Leeds. I don't know what you mean. And Why are you looking at me like a problem here, Sylvan? I was just imagining how cool you'd look in this. It's alpaca. It's not mine. Where'd you get that from? Got it on my travels. It's from Bolivia. Or somewhere like that. You're not putting that on me. It's cold today. Then you wear it. Looking like a pillow ain't going to keep me warm, aside from the embarrassment. Come on. You put that on me after I've said no and it counts as abuse. It looks all right on me. I really seriously doubt that. <gasps> Suit yourself. Jackson, but you know what I'm like. You know I like a good old chat. So, what I'm trying to say is, if you ever want to talk to me about something, you know, instead of that camera of yours. Hello. Thanks. But the camera doesn't answer back. Now make yourself useful. Get rid of that hat. Make me feel a bit nervous. Sit down. It's been a bit full on today. What? You get tired from shutting your laptop. I reckon you crawl under those cars just to have a kit, you know. Yeah, right. Glass has been off on one all day. What happened? Uh, something wearing lipstick and driving a flashy car, apparently. What? Nothing. You just seemed a bit off earlier. I'm not sure you really want to do this. Well, I'm here, Arthur. Right? Have a beer. I hope you work that out, shall I? It's about half nine, so another one might take you to almost ten o'clock. Do what? Well, by then you can start reminding me of what a hard day at the garage you've had. Now you need to get home, right? What are you kicking off for? To fill in the silence before we leave and I spend the rest of the night wondering what your problem is, again. You know, I don't need this. I thought that maybe this was going somewhere. I honestly don't have a clue what you're talking about. Well, think about it then. And while you're at it, you might want to sort out whatever's going on in there. Because I swear, mate, you carry on like this. I have a pretty lonely life. Thanks, Aaron. You? What are you doing? Just having a little bit of banter with myself. I will go crazy. Sounds like you already have. Morning. Hey, I had a dream about Clyde last night. He was talking and everything. Am I invisible? Who said that? <laughs> hey, very good. <laughs> Glad to see somebody's in a better mood this morning. It's a shame the same can't be said for him. Yeah, well, you can do the open bit because I have a date with the parrot. Seems to be an ex-parrot if I don't get a move on. You're looking at me. You're looking at me? Paddy. Just wondering how it went with Flynn. Is that bad? I've been on some shocking dates in my time. With girls, obviously. Do you like him then? Well, you must do. If you weren't that bothered, you wouldn't have such a cob on. I don't know. I just... I just wish all of this... It's just all messed up. Aaron. I know all about mess. And let me tell you, you'll just get through this. Yeah. So go on anyway, what did Clyde say then? <laughs> Aaron, can you chuck us... You'd better not be texting again. Mm, why don't you keep your nose out? What's it this time, eh? No, in fact, don't tell me, because that would mean I give a damn. Right, cheers for that. I pay you to work, right? Not mop about the place like a wounded dog. Says you, Moody. And um, isn't it me that pays the wages? Go on, take another lunch. It's a car, Dad. Deal with it.
What are you doing here? Well, you've run me enough times. Well, that didn't mean for you to come here, though, did it? Look, if you want to tell me what's going on, then do, but I can't be dealing with all this mess in the bar. Seven tonight, in the pub. You are in there? If you think I'm shouting across a crowded bar, you can think again. Here's Jackson in. Hang on, I'll just have a look. Oh, yeah, there he is. Mum. Well. I wonder if they're going to see your ugly mug. What is it, Angover, from the night before? There's got to be something you look sheepish it out. You see him again? Yeah. Yeah, it was dire. Remember it well, you don't make it very easy. So have you ruined it for good or what? I don't know. He wants to talk. Sounds a bit heavy. Yeah. He's coming to the pub. Tonight. What are you? I thought that you said you were all right with it. Yeah, I am, but it's... No, it's all right, I can cancel, it's no big deal. No, don't. I'm only telling you because... Well, because I don't want you seeing him. Well, he's a bit of a minger. This is so weird. No, I should come tonight. It's only going to stop being weird if we deal with it. What? Debbie. Yeah, all right, just give me two minutes. Right, all right. Well, if that's what you want, then you know I can't stop you. See you both tonight. <laughs> Mate, come over here and make the numbers up. What are you having? Uh, no, you're all right. You look like you nearly finished yours. Well, I'm not his keeper if it's a drinking partner you're after. Yeah, well, I'm not. So you can go now. Right. Cheers. Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, I see. Aaron, why don't you sit over there and I'll bring a couple of pints over. So is that his date there? Yes, that's his date. <laughs> Look at him there. Glowing. Like a pig. <laughs> Mum? Planes. Can you get me a shirt? I'm going out. I'm going to be eating in 20 minutes. I've got a chicken casserole on. Should I have only nipping down the pub for a quick snifter with Aaron and his, and his new bloke? You are joking. Aaron's bringing his late squeeze to the village and you want me to get you a shirt out? Yeah, if you've not too much trouble. Yeah, of course not. Hey, well done, I'll just paint mug across your forehead and have done with it, eh? I wasn't asking for your opinion, was I? I was asking for a shirt. Well, you can ask all you like, but I ain't getting you one. You can't do that. Oh, I can. And you can look at me like that all you want. But I am not fighting with every bone in my body to get your life back on track just for you to destroy it again. Do you hear me? Are you going to chill out? You're the one pushing to come here. Dad, stop staring. He looks even more nervous than Aaron. Poor old Jackson. Hey, He's hardly just walked away, has he? No, yeah, Aaron, or Jackson. Well, is that that question? So you're going to tell me about the sex or what? How do you mean? Well, it doesn't take a genius. It's not over, is it? Actually, it is. And it's not. I knew it. <laughs> you don't. You really don't. To protect you. I don't need protecting. This is my life. Yes. And you've been through enough. That's for me to decide. I know what Aaron's doing. I'm the one that told him to do it and I'm fine with that. No, you're not. I've heard you on that that diary thing and You're kidding yourself, Jackson. Am I? Oh, why don't you try having no privacy and being a prisoner in your own home and having to ask everyone for every little favour? You got any idea what that's like? vulnerable. I'm looking out for you. I don't want looking out for. 
and I am not vulnerable in the head. I want to be free to make my own choices, even if they're the wrong ones. And I want to go where I want, when I want, just like you can. I am not your little boy anymore, and if you can't agree with my decisions, then I am never, ever going to ask for you to do anything for me again. That is fun. Mm. Tell me about it. Well, it explains a lot. The moodiness. Poor guy. Don't patronise him. I'm not. Seriously, that must have been really, really tough. On both of you. So do you reckon he'll come in? Can I make a suggestion? If he hasn't come by the time we finish these, we enter town. Yeah. Alright then. Mmm, Manny Key knows that. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, let's go. Mum! Mum, what are you doing in there? Hold your horses, I can't find my purse. Is this some attempt to stop me going? I'm coming! Yeah, you look nice sometimes. Bus, run! Mum, come on, hurry up. Come on, quick. Come on! Hurry up! 